I have a generator set up. And at this time of the year, I usually leave it hooked up in the ready for winter. As you can see, the gas, my natural gas line goes into the generator shed. And on this side, I have a 50 amp twist lock that also uh, feeds the generator. So typically around May 1st, which is around now, I get these put away and just in case I need them, they're always at the ready, but in the winter, I really don't want to be messing around with these. So this here just kind of unscrews from the plug. And then we just kind of pull it out and lock that up. Then I slide this inside this little cover I have here. And it'll be ready for me. It'll be ready for me in the, uh, the winter. When I'll show you that, I'll put it back together. Now we're just going to unto the gas line. Then open up the generator shed and I'll show you what's inside there. The gas line is just a push-on gas line. It's like a quick connect fitting. I'll get you down here, show you. All right. This is quite simple. All I do is pull, push it and pull the line off. And that's it. I typically cover it, this rubber plug, and I put the rubber plug on this side. The same thing over here, I feed it. I feed it into the generator shed, which I'll do now. Now let's open this up and I'll show you what I got in here. Bring it back a little bit. Open it up. my generator shed right here. Pretty simple. Right. I've got my gas line coming in. All right, there's my gas line coming in from the outside. Hooked up to the generator with a regulator. I have a vent down here for the circulation of, of air, just air in general. Uh, this is a 12,000 watt hybrid Duramax generator. That is using a 50 amp plug. And I do have a fan hooked up to the generator right here so that when the generator starts up, that fan comes on and will exhaust any heat flow right through here. And I have this generator lined with a cement board to protect it from additional heat. It works good for us. Uh, I've only had, actually, over the three years I've had this, I've only had to use it once. I mean, I test it yearly, but I've only had to use it once. And the one time that I needed to use it, it worked perfectly for me. So that's it in here. It's grounded. Everything is done properly with it. Uh, I even have a sensor on the wall right here. And that tells me the temperature inside the generator shed during the day normally. And also the temperature of the generator shed when it's running. So I'm just going to lock the shed up now. And uh, it's good to have, but hopefully, I hope we never need it.
check out the description because I will put the link to everything that I use on the generator here, okay? Thank you.